Alrighty, so they have brought Malik back, which uh, it's been a little while. I think it's been like six months or so since we've had Malik, but a lot has changed in the game, uh, of course, since Malik has come back. We've gotten a lot more crazy characters. If you have the new The One Ultimate Escanor uh, unit, then uh, I would imagine he's probably going to tear this you know, new boss probably in half, but um, we're going to be doing it on Extreme. This is going to be the team that I'm using, just a little bit of like free-to-play action here, obviously. Um... If you were playing during the Escanor Festival, you should have gotten a free copy of Brunhild from the Lucky Box Jumping Box event or whatever it was called. So I'm going to be using her uh, specifically just because she's an, a, a really good single target attacker. If you don't have Brunhild for whatever me reason, maybe you started you know during this festival or maybe you're just really new, you didn't get it from the last one, whatever the case may be, uh, just use whoever you have that's a really good single target attacker. I say Escanor is really good for this uh, and I imagine that he definitely is i haven't used them yet but i'll probably mess around with them in a run after this one um but if you have any of the newer units like really good festival units or anything like that more than likely they're going to be just fine if you have the new melee he'll probably do really really well as well uh, the big things to worry about with this fight is that um, he has some interesting like snowball mechanics so he has these two sort of minions with him uh anytime um he, or he's going to summon these minions every three turns for one. But uh, I think it's this one right here. Um, no, it's this one. No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a professional at this. It's this one right here. Increase his own pierce rate by 50% when an ally or enemy dies. So... You do not want to attack as many of the minions as possible because obviously that's going to give him a ton of pierce rate and pierce rate doesn't sound like the scariest thing but once you have a lot of pierce rate you're hitting for a lot of damage. So you don't want to do that. He is going to kind of snowball a little bit. He's going to keep putting on these stacks right here. Decreases enemies attack and defense by 10% for three turns at the end of every turn and that can stack up to five times. Uh, obviously you can't petrify him or any of that stuff and then uh, he's basically the same thing in phase two except for he's going to have a revive. Uh, where he's going to revive at 50% of HP whenever you would have killed him. So let's hop into this thing and see how we can do. We're probably just going to upgrade with Gother, use some single target attacks as much as possible. Obviously, you know, the team that I'm using isn't necessarily ideal for this, but I just figured, you know, these are characters that most of everybody has. Um, so, you know, just if you don't have a specific one of these units, there's obviously a lot better stuff out now that you can probably substitute it out for. Um, alright, so first and foremost, I imagine that our uh, Power Strike card is probably going to do really well. I think what we do is try to focus on getting rid of some cards out of hand first, and maybe just try to upgrade on Brunhild, and then uh, maybe grab a, a decent amount of cards that we can go into the next phase with. So getting a little bit of damage off isn't anything crazy. Maybe we get another upgrade or something. Uh, the, the game does say that you want to bring in... Uh, like a cleanse unit, I think, for this one. And I think it's because of, you know, the 10% the attack and defense related, you know, reduction. Or uh, it's not re related stats, I don't think. The, the attack and defense reduction that you're going to get from this uh, right here. I, is it that one or is it the, at the end of the turn? I think it's, yeah, okay, so it's this one. What is burning? Uh, I think that's kind of like what Merlin has. Uh, additional damage equal to remaining HP 5%. So that's not anything super crazy, but definitely not something you want to deal with too much. So let's go ahead and upgrade. We can cleanse those off. Sorry for the <laughs> phone notifications. Um, maybe we could technically just stall another turn, I guess. But uh, let's let's go for the kill here just out of curiosity. I want to see how how well we can do in the, in the second phase here. I kind of would like to get rid of the detonate card if possible, but he's just not getting enough... Um, ultimate move gauge. Okay, so I was kind of expecting that to one shot, but with the team that I have, I'm not not really surprised. If I had better support uh, units on this team, I could probably do a lot more there. Did pull another, so that's actually really good. We can probably just get rid of some of these extra cards and end up killing him this turn, and then try to go into the next turn with uh, maybe some decent RNG. Uh, obviously, ults are going to be really, really nice to have going into the next phase, so I think... That this will kill for sure. Um, we can just get rid of that. I, I don't really care about the, the shield. It's not that big of a deal. So this will give us two ults in hand. We'll have the Brunhild cards. Which should be really nice. Unfortunately we are probably going to kill this, the minions here. The side uh, units. Because of the AoEs being so strong. But um, we'll see how it goes. Let's do maybe something like this i guess 
So, boom, boom, boom. Okay, that did really well. I think this will kill. We'll pop the res more than likely. We did, okay. So we popped the res. We did give him two pierce rate stacks, which is kind of unfortunate, but we're able to, to finish him off there. So not super complicated, not super hard. Obviously this is gonna be like a slow run considering that we're using kind of a bad team. Uh, let me throw it together just like the Escanor team out of curiosity and we'll see how fast that goes. Alrighty, so I'm using like a full human team. We've got a little bit more support here. I imagine we're going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, I brought Reinhard to try to just get off as much damage as possible and maybe kill turn one. So that way I can immediately push into phase two if possible. Not looking like we're going to be doing quite as much damage as I was hoping for. But then again, he doesn't have the HP support that he really needs. I could probably swap him out for something different. But uh, luckily we don't kill any of the minions. He's already really close to dead. I would really like to try to put together like a two turn team for this. So if you have one, definitely let me know. Um, I'm pretty sure other people have already found one though. I'm, but uh, I don't know. I don't always like to look that stuff up. I like to hear from you guys. If you guys have a two turn team, definitely let me know. But uh, I imagine maybe we should have just tried to go for like a rank up team possibly. Because uh, I think we can kill him using this stuff right here we'll get rid of that one just in case um actually oh that one was really close to killing actually does this kill that's funny all right so he has the revive on this next phase we'll see we'll see if we can kill him depending on the cards we have i guess um luckily escanor can't be lowered so let's go for something like this maybe hopefully i was targeted on malik right there a little bit of damage okay that actually did pretty good hopefully this one will transfer some damage from the aoe hit into his second health bar it does boom and then kills okay not too bad honestly i don't i don't know if i don't know about reinhardt being on here with without having proper support Maybe I need to tweak the team a little bit, but you can see how fast and easy it is with a lot better units. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you, I don't know, if you need team suggestions or if you have something that maybe a lot of people can use, throw a, you know, a team suggestion down in the bottom. Uh, so that way, you know, maybe if somebody doesn't have Brunhild or whatever the case may be, you can try to help them out. So, uh, that is, that is it, I guess. That's, that's all. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one.